But one of the best scenes of the show that I've seen so far was he's trying to raise capital. He's trying to raise finances. And so him and his partner or colleagues, you know, they're sharply dressed. They're going meeting after meeting, but they're failing. They're striking out over and over and over again. So he sends his, his coworker home. He's like, I got to change something. So he strips down to a metallic t-shirt, sends his coworker on home, walks into his very next meeting and then sells it. Because he dropped the image, he dropped the bullshit. He got back alignment with who he was to his deepest core. What's happening, Sean Murphy here. Welcome to the video. Got a good sweat in today. <laughs> so, if you've been following this journey, we're currently on like week seven or eight. I've kind of lost track because I did have that kind of a two week layoff because of the lower back. But it doesn't mean it's taking time away from this overall program. See, I want to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly, and all that stuff as we're continuing on this journey of strong and shredded. But I never went into the third element, the third code of the code of strength. And so I thought today would be the perfect opportunity to do that with you because it's really what has fueled this whole endeavor. It's really the code that sets the stage for everything in my life. It sets the tone, it sets the stage, it sets the mindset. It sets up my actions. This right here sets the tone for everything that I do in life. So, the third code of strength, raise your standards. So, this honestly, this goes back to the military. <laughs> like I said, I'm in this military mindset, guys. So, I might be on this trend for a little while, so you're just going to have to grin and bear it, get through it with me. <laughs> but, raising your standards. So, so yesterday, I gave you the message of how I change along the way and how I really stepped away from my own code of ethics, my own, the, th the very things that actually drove me towards success in the first place. And what happened was along the years, along the way, I was listening to other people. I was listening to people who said, you have to message yourself in a certain way to attract certain clients. You have to, pretty much I had to change. I had to change for them. I had to change for my business. I had to change for the people that I, I was working with. And this is what was drilled in me since the very first business I invested in, which was a franchise. And so I, I really did. I lost, my, I lost myself along the way. And even though I was successful in business, even though I was successful with, well, that was really it. That was the only part in my life that I was successful with was business. My relationships were shit. My own self image was shit. My own fitness was headed towards a down spiral because I was buying into the messaging that I was putting out there, even though I didn't full heartedly believe in it. Even though in my core, I knew it wasn't right. It wasn't aligning up with me and who I was and who I am. But I did that for decades. And so even though, again, business was successful, relationship after relationship failed. My relationships with my family struggled. A strange relationship with my son, with my parents, brother, sister, like the whole nine. Could not commit myself to a girlfriend. Could not commit myself to to be the best person I could be, the best man that I could be for her. So relationship after relationship in that aspect failed over and over again. It's all my fault. I'm taking full ownership of it, of every single one of them. I'm taking full ownership. But it all had to do with my standards. It all had to do with a false set of standards that I was trying to live by to attract a certain clientele that I didn't even want to work with because they didn't align up with me and who I was. So I lost my morals, I lost my ethics, I lost who I valued myself was as a man, as a human being, as a father, as a, even a husband. Ended up divorced. 
because I lost myself along the way because I was listening to other people, what they expected of me and what they told me I should be and what their expectations were of me. I lost my standards. So today, with the launch of the Salvation Strength Project, with the launch of this strong and shredded routine that I'm under right now, it's about raising my standards back to 20 years ago when I was full of life, I was full of vigor, I was full of ambition, I just had, I had life by the balls and I was crushing it every day. I was proud of who I was. I was proud of my family. I was proud of my achievements. I was proud of every single day what I was doing, every step of the way, every action that I took every day. I lost that. For far too long I lost that because my standards were shit. So the third code of strength is now about raising your standards. And, I, and again, it goes back to my military days where they broke us down to set a new standard for ourselves. To prove to every individual that was out in that mulch field, or was on those rock marches, or was on the combat range, or was on that confidence course, that you're worth it. That you're somebody. That you can do this. You can do anything that you want to do. But it starts in here. It starts with raising your standards. It's knowing who you are. Not what somebody else tells you you are. Not what the naysayers and the negative influencers and what somebody else wants for you. Not even me. I'm not here to tell you who to be or what you should be. I'm here to tell you, reach deep inside, raise your own standards, and know your worth. And then go after it. Every action that you take must be in alignment with what's in here. Not what's up here. Because this motherfucker will fuck you up every day. If you let it with the negative talk and the doubts and the insecurities and the depression and the anxiety and all the you can wait till tomorrow. But this will never lie to you. Your heart will never lie to you. You will make mistakes along the way. It's part of it. But if you allow those mistakes, if you allow those failures to hold you back, if you allow them to, to keep you from moving forward with what's in here, it's because your standards aren't high enough for yourself. Raise the bar. Raise your standards. Raise your expectations. Raise your status. And when I talk about status, I'm not talking about Rolex watches. I'm not talking about having a BMW out in the parking lot. I'm talking about your worth. How you carry yourself. How you project. How others respond to you. That's status. You know someone has high status and conviction at the moment that they walk in a room. Because you're automatically drawn to them. You don't know why, but you're drawn to them. That status has nothing to do with what they wear. One of the shows I'm watching right now, this is a replay. I don't even know why I got onto this, but I'm gonna just put it in here on this video. But I'm watching the show Billions. I don't know if you guys are watching this, but I love the lead character, Axl Rose. Because he is a man of status. He doesn't rely on his outside appearance or even what others think of him in order to project his actions, in order to follow through on his convictions, in order to do the things that he knows that he wants to do for his business and for, and for the people that he cares about, who he surrounds himself with, his family, his coworkers, his employees. But one of the best scenes of the show that I've seen so far was he's trying to raise capital, he's trying to raise finances. And so him and his partner or colleagues, you know, they're sharply dressed and they're going meeting after meeting but they're failing, they're striking out over and over and over again. So he sends his, his coworker home, he's like, I gotta change something. So he strips down to a metallic t-shirt, sends his coworker on home, walks into his very next meeting and then sells it. Because he dropped the image, he dropped the bullshit. He got back alignment with who he was to his deepest core. No more power tie, no more suit. Just walking in the room and owning the room because he was owning himself because he knew his standards and he knew who he was. Walking in that room, not trying to portray what he thought others should think of him. 
It was the most powerful scene I've seen on TV in a very long time. And it resonated with me. So yes, that's what this whole venture is about. That's what this strong and shred routine is all about. That's what Salvation Strength Platform is all about. Living a code of strength, but it falls down onto this one. If you only follow one code, follow this one. It is to raise your standards. Because when you raise your standards, you'll raise your standards with your fitness, with your faith in God, with your family and your finances. Raise your standards.